Hello, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. So, Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. This is for you, my love. Okay, I am G1 Writer here with G1 Insights, of course. My website is g1insights.org. There you can find some really, really interesting things to look to, to learn about. I post, you know, newsletters and blogs and all those cool things. Um, I even have my chakra bracelets for sale on my website. So there's a lot to look forward to working with me, Virgo. So I'm just extremely excited even more to be working with you. Okay. This season looks like it's going to be one of your best seasons. And I say that because I feel like there's a lot for you to learn this season. There's a lot for you to embrace this season, okay? So Virgo, today I'm providing you with your career, life, love, health, overall energy for the month of October 2018, okay? Thank you for tuning in. If there's anything that you guys want to know, please comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you feel. You know, how you feel about this reading in general, please let me know, okay? Because I love, absolutely love talking to you all, okay? So let's get started. So I'm proud of you, Virgo, because it looks like, you know, for starters, your overall energy is victory, my love. Look how beautiful that is. That was literally the first card that came out victory and so it lets me know that no matter what happens or no matter what transpires this month. You know, we're still looking forward to a great month overall, okay? I also see abundance here, okay? Look how beautiful that is. Abundance. Now, this is what tricked me off, okay? Because I see broken heart here. So, the interesting thing about this card is that you're not the only sign that got this. For some reason, this card has come out very, very frequent, okay? Like, a lot. For the month of October. And I think it has a lot to do with this whole Venus retrograde business, okay? So let's talk about that. October 5th, give or take a day, we will have Venus go retrograde. Ooh, right? Venus goes retrograde. What does that mean for you, Virgo? What that means is, you know, allowing yourself to be vulnerable, you know, Venus retrograde is really all about our social affairs, how we treat one another, you know, how we deal with our finances. This is not really so much, you know, like when Mercury go retrograde, it's like pretty much all about communication. But with Venus going retrograde, it's really, really about, you know, your foundation, okay, whether your foundation is finances, stability, your home environment, your money, how you are spending your money, what you are investing in. And so with you, Virgo, I feel like this is all about you learning to reevaluate the mistakes that you have made, accept the fact that not everything is perfect, not everyone is perfect, that we have to move forward and learn to forgive ourselves Okay, because I feel like for you earth signs in general, you are growing mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And for a lot of you, you're either you may have just recently went through a bad breakup or a bad heartbreak. Maybe someone has betrayed you recently or maybe you feel betrayed and it may not even be the case because I'm telling you lined up with victory and abundance. It don't sound like too much of a heartbreak to me. So what it means is that for me, you know, looking at your love cards, I have to match this up, okay? And I'm looking at your love cards, and I'm like, okay, it's safe for you to love. That's the first thing the universe wanted you to know. It's safe for you to love. Guys, please forgive my nails. I know I need to get to the nail salon, okay? Like, you don't have to brag or tell me. <laughs> so it is safe for you to love, okay? So I'm not sure who is still grieving over this heartbreak or who feel like, you know, love is not on their side or may feel like the universe has forgotten them in a sense. You know, love is here for you. 
you know, but I feel like you guys are, not all of you either, you know, this is a general reading, so it's, it may and it may not apply to you, for some of you, this may not have anything to do with fucking love, you know, this may just simply be maybe someone broke your heart at work in regards to your finances, maybe someone did something to you, or maybe you are recovering or healing from something that happened in the past. So either way, it's a good thing, you know, whether it happened now or later or in the past, this is something that you guys are definitely working through, okay? Now, the interesting thing about this, like I said, you are not the only sign that got this. A few zodiac signs got this card this season, okay? So with that being said, <laughs> whatever you have in your birth chart, ladies and gentlemen, please go review that other zodiac sign, okay? Because, like I said, a lot of people got that card. Now, we're looking here, when it comes to your past, your present, and your future, you know, it's like you love to learn. You love knowledge. You love taking it all in. You love being the light of the world. You love presenting greatness into the world. And I feel like at some point, it's like you guys are dealing with, or may have felt like you are dealing with way too much, you know? And so I feel like this is a season where you're going to have to kind of take a step back, you know, and realize what you need to put forward to this season. You know, what do you need to do? What can you do to help things move along in your life, okay? Now, when it comes to victory, I mean, it's, it is what it is. You know, it's all about you winning, Virgo. It's about you achieving good things. It's about you actually being happy, you know, taking a stand in the world, okay? But this can also be success, money, good news coming in. This could be achievement. This could be, like I said, you're winning, okay? Whatever it is, just know you, you know, it's like you are on top. No matter what happens, you remain on top. You don't crumble at the first sign of struggle. And it's hard to break you. And I think that's why it's been kind of hard for some people to deal with you or to accept you. Sorry, guys, the smoke, the smoke is in my eyes. So, you know, that's probably is because you guys deal with challenge and struggle in a very systematic way. And it's hard for some people to understand how you can be so organized, how you can be so structured. You know, it's probably better to, you know, try not to rub this type of energy in people's face or, you know, even if this is a spouse, I believe like, especially if you're dealing with a spouse who may be insecure or if you have like partners in business that may have their own insecurities that they're dealing with, Try not to brag too much about your success or your achievements, okay? But overall, you know, this achievement may be a great outer success, or it may be a deep inner change or something that you have been exerting a lot of effort toward. Um, this could be, hmm, this could just be simply enjoying the sense of accomplishment, okay? So be careful not to rest upon your laurels. So like I said, you know, you might be feeling so good and so on top that you feel like, you know, people need to just bow down, basically, you know? And I mean that in the most <laughs> metaphoric way. Um, You may feel like because you do so much, people should be bowing down to you, you know, listening to you, you know, try not to be so bossy or, you know, rub it in people's face that you're in charge. We know you're in charge. You don't have to rub it in our face. You know what I mean? Like, so try not to be that way. Try not to be too arrogant or too cocky this season, okay? Because I feel like you're going to be receiving a lot of different good news or you may be on the verge of starting something new coming in contact with something new or something different, something that you guys have been waiting for. So try your best not to be so cocky or arrogant, okay? Because like I said, I do see abundance here. Look at that, blossoming abundance. So, you know, it, it tells a lot, okay? 
People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may still be, you know, some type of inner work to do, okay? So while you may be achieving that one thing, you may be still struggling to heal that broken heart, or you may still be trying to find it, maybe you're finding it hard to forgive someone for what they have done, and you have to let that energy go, my loves, because you can have so much great success, but this is holding you back. So we have to let go of this energy. Like, we have to do one of those. Like, no more. You know what I mean? Like, we have to really close out that whole energy right there. Because we don't want that anymore. We want to move forward. We want this. We want victory. We want to feel good. You know? We want this. You know, we want to be happy. And we want to make love. And we want all the money. And we want to feel prosperous and beautiful. But it's hard to feel like that when you're constantly thinking about this. Okay? So, yeah. Let's turn that over. All right. So when it comes to just your overall energy, my love, you know, you have a lot to look forward to. And I mean, I think that, you know, there's blessings all around you, you know, but you're so focused on this that for a lot of you is really hard to see all, all that's around you with all the blessings and good news and new opportunities coming along. It's kind of hard. You know, and it has been hard for a lot of you different Virgos. You know, I feel like this is for the men and women, really. Um, I feel like you guys have been going through some things. For some of you, you've been working, you've been saving your money. For some of you, you're having a hard time finding a job. And I feel like give it at least to like the third week of October, like during that new moon in Libra is when I think it will be a perfect time to actually manifest what you need and what you desire. Whatever you want, please ask for during that new moon in Libra season. So not exactly on the new moon, but at least like within the first or third day or within that week period of that new moon. The new moon in Libra will take place on the 9th or the 8th. Or maybe even the 10th, give or take a day. <laughs> so the 8th and 9th or the 10th, give or take a day, that new moon in Libra will approach, okay? And then different parts of the world, it would have happened at different times, okay? So as we celebrate official harvest season, okay, because it is officially harvest season, right? Like, so as we celebrate that, we welcome new changes, okay? We're being more open to changes, okay? So for you, Virgo, this is... You know, you just being aware, okay? Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity. So if you want more money, honey, you may have to be more active. You may have to be more proactive. You may have to talk more. may have to socialize more. You may have to get into a new business that you've never done before, okay? This is really about increasing your wealth, okay? So much like a gardener, works the ground and begins to see blooming results take hold, right? This card here especially, I mean, teamed up with victory, it's amazing, but this here particularly is really, really about increase, you know? So that is what we want for you, Virgo. We want increase. We want something to rise up, okay? Increase. So yes, this can simply just, you know, indicate that maybe, well, not maybe, but this can simply indicate that the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom, okay? So smell the flowers and tend to the new growth. And this could very well be the same way even in love. You know, stop and smell the roses, my love. Look at this. Just look at how all of your cards resonate together. Stop and smell the roses, dear love. Because you are blessed, and there is something here that a lot of you have been missing or not really paying attention to because you've been too focused on this. So, we had to get rid of that. Let's turn it back over. Okay, now I wanted to talk to you all about something really because you know it seemed like a lot of times we try to study, we try to work through our heartbreak, we try to be better people, you know, and, you know, let's face it, I mean, it hurts, it hurts sometimes, you know, and we have to be strong, and I feel like the universe is highly encouraging you to take back your life, you know, take back your life, look at this, you are the, the searcher, you know, you're the one that will seek guidance and wisdom and knowledge and power and everything wonderful, right? 
And it's like lately you have been the one that have been seeking answers and you're searching and you're searching. You know, I, I, I do believe that even in a traditional tarot deck, there's a card associated with that type of energy. And I think it's the hermit card, if I'm not mistaken, you know, where it's like a lot of you would be, some of you meditate a little too much. <laughs> like you're thinking constantly, you're too deep in meditation. Some of you need to come up out of the meditation. Stop thinking so much. Stop worrying so much, okay? So, you know, try not to be or allow things to distract you too much. There may be an opportunity that may be presenting itself to you. But as I said before, my love, for some of you, you're going to be too cocky or too arrogant to even look at what's in front of you. Some of you may be just so overwhelmed by this broken heart. And this can come from feeling like, you know, the world has forgotten you and we haven't, you know? So try not to be so negative or even think in that way. I feel like there's an opportunity here or presenting itself for you. And you're so distracted with life that you don't even hear us calling. You know, and you have to stop whatever it is that you're doing. If you're overthinking, overanalyzing, you know, um, worrying too much, crying too much, constantly worrying about the past and what bothered you or who hurt you. It is the perfect season for you all to move on. OK, please practice that self-love. OK. And although your life may be busy, this opportunity now presents itself for you to move into a higher awareness. It's a great time to open to your higher self and all of its wisdom and powers, dear love. It is your soul, your internal being, my love, who approaches, but it is up to you and only you to open the door. And you have to remember that I feel like your soul is yearning to have this deep foundation in this deep sense of clarity and this deep sense of love and spirituality right? But you just would not allow yourself to go there. And why not? Why are you blocking your own blessings? Worrying about this. We're not doing this anymore. We're not. We're not going to do that anymore. Okay? So we are changing our minds. We are no longer obsessing and worrying and crying about something that happened in the past. We're not doing this anymore. Okay? So... By taking real and regular action and knowing and feeling the wise and radiant being you are, okay, that is how you are going to elevate this season, through meditation and study. But like I said, for some of you, you've been meditating a little too damn long. For some of you, you need to go deeper, okay? Now... You can own that enormous love and power. Like I said, stop and smell the roses. You can. You can own that enormous love and power and vision. And you can make every day sacred by going within, my love. Go within. Once you do, you will know a radiant and greater power in every single step. And with every single word. You will be able to bring this magnificent force to your world, changing your life forever, like ongoing. You won't have to go through it anymore. The more you accept yourself, the more you accept people and allow people to be who they are, the greater your life will be. How amazing is that? Okay, how amazing is that? So you have to ask yourself, are you truly ready to allow yourself to be who you are? And because it doesn't hinder you by not, you know, by allowing other people to be themselves. It's not going to hinder you one way or the other. So don't come into a situation or an environment trying to change others or the way that they think or the way that they feel. And this could be in a part, a business partnership, a relationship, or even a friendship. Don't try to change their perspective or don't just not be with them or be friends with them because they have a different point of view from yours, okay? Look at this. Diversity is key, my love, okay? Now, 
It is time to be more open, to be more flexible. It is time to be open, my love. There are many, many options available to you, whether it's in love, if you are single and you're looking for new love, or maybe you are tired of your job and looking for a new career, you do have options. You don't have to be unhappy. You don't have to tolerate the nonsense and the discomfort, my love. You don't have to tolerate it. Diversify, my love, okay? Try to be open to new ideas, new inspirations, new plans, you know. So if you notice that every holiday you visit your family, maybe you can go out the country. Maybe you can go visit somebody else. I mean, who knows? Allow yourself to try new things. Go to new places. Learn about new subjects. This is about you breaking out of your old habits and getting into something new. It is time to meet new people, to have new friends, maybe even a new home, (laughs) okay? It's time for something unique, something different, my love, because you know, Virgo, one thing I noticed about you is that you can be very, very predictable, okay? And this is a season where you have to begin to be unpredictable, um, unemotional, Be vulnerable when it's needed or when it, you know, when you feel the need to be vulnerable. But being vulnerable doesn't mean that you have to be weak. You can be vulnerable. It's okay. It's okay. It is safe, my love. It is safe for you to be your best self. It is safe for you to love. But you have to get out of the habit of chasing the same old thing. This has to be, so in other words, if you're always going for the same exact type of job, okay, this is the season to say, you know what, I've never done office work before, maybe I should get into it. Oh, you know what, I've never done retail, maybe I should go into retail. I've never, you know, did dancing, maybe I should get into dancing, be more creative or express myself more creatively. Um, You know, it just all about getting in touch with you this season, you know, and so that is probably why victory came out, because I feel like you guys are at a state of mind where whatever is going to happen is clearly going to open up your mind and shift your whole world, my love, so be open to all the changes, whether it's wanted or unwanted, try to embrace it with an open heart, okay, try your best to embrace it, my love, you are in a period of expansion, So use it. Let yourself go further and further away more than you ever planned. Because in the end, you will diverse this, you know, be diverse and diversify in the most interesting way. Okay, is what I really wanted to say. I feel like this is about presenting a new you. I'm a new me. I'm not worried about your past, guys who keep calling you and sweating you because I know what I'm about and I know what I bring to the table. So I'm not worried about him. I know what I can do for you. I know what I have done for you. I know what I'm capable of. And when people see that type of confidence and they can see, oh, this is someone who knows who they are, it makes them more and more attractive to you. But if you're worried, constantly worried, constantly bringing up the past, constantly being afraid, constantly being hurt, it creates more headache for you. The law of attraction is very, very real, my love. And the law of attraction will bring you the object of your attention. So if you are constantly focusing on pain, you will attract more pain. If you are focused more on love, And spreading love and light into the world, guess what? That love and light into the world is going to be reflected right back at you. So it's all about what you present this season, okay? It's all about what you present. Try to change your perspective, my love. Please do not fall victim to the circumstance, honey, okay? 
It's like a lot of you have been denying your inner voice in some way. You may have gotten messages from your spirit or maybe from other spirits, maybe from God, the universe. Maybe you have had epiphanies or different dreams, things that you may have been ignoring. You have to pay attention to it. Things that you have not been acknowledging, my love, or things that you may have been resisting. Perhaps you have been sidelining, you know, some type of psychic work. You may have been sidelining something that is truly meant for you for things that shouldn't even deserve your attention. Begin and choose this day that you choose you. That you want to choose you. That you're not going to be worried about the pain, the past. You're not going to be worried about who hurt you, who broke your heart, who manipulated you. We're not going to talk about that anymore. Like I said, this, we're not doing this anymore. We're going to turn it over. We're going to turn over a new leaf. A new leaf. No environment. We don't have time to worry about that anymore. Because we're trying to accomplish this. Okay, and we cannot accomplish that when we're doing this. Okay, we can't do it. You have to remember, dear love, that it is safe for you to love. Whatever the case, my love, wake up to the power of the messages that you have been receiving from friends, co workers, from spirit, dreams, realizations, any type of epiphanies. When you deny them, okay, or their guidance, you undermine all you wish to achieve. So, it is time for you to light the way. It's time for you to change your life, and it's all up to you. It is all up to you, Virgo, okay? When you listen and learn to listen to the voice within, and you respond to it, you become you know, the alpha and the omega of your own destiny. You set the standard. You let it be known, look, I'm in charge of my secu- my insecurities. I can be vulnerable, but it doesn't make me weak. I can be sensitive, but I don't have to be too emotional. You know, like I can give love without expecting that in return. Because either way, if you're truly, truly giving love, it's going to be reflected right back at you. But you have to keep in mind that the more energy you put out there, whether good or bad, it will be reflected back at you. You want to be positive? You want to have a good life and have money? Right? You have to be willing to invest your time, your energy, and money, your love for other people. You have to be willing to do it. Nothing is going to come to you without you working for it, my love. You can't just sit around and expect, bam, I'm married. Bam, I have kids. Bam, I had the best career. Bam, I have money. Like, no, you have to actually do the work, my love. And I feel like for all of you earth signs, that is exactly what is happening, okay? A lot of you are... A lot of you guys are protecting your heart from hurt because of painful relationship experiences. However, the universe can only bring you as much as love or romance that you will only allow inside, okay? If you have a shield around your heart, you know, how is the love to get in? How can you attract new love if you're constantly being overprotective, overbearing, overwhelming, nagging and cursing and screaming and throwing fits every other day? Or Getting into relationships and expecting people to change because you want them to be something that is familiar. Like I said, my love, it is time for you to break out from the old to accept the new. It is time for you to embrace some changes. Okay? Love cannot get in when you have a shield around your heart, my love. A closed heart repels the sensitive partner that you are trying to attract. And you need that, Virgo. Nothing is more appealing and sexy to you than someone who has a sensitive heart. 
But when you're dealing with a sensitive soul and you have all these different things going on, all this baggage and drama and insecurity, it can run people away and make them not attracted to you. A closed heart will repel the sensitive partner that you're trying to attract. Follow your inner guidance, my love. Please follow your inner guidance. We can't do this anymore. We can't. It's taking up too much of your time. Following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to, you know, feel loved. I mean, look at this. Just stop before you even curse them out, no matter what happens, my love. Please stop. You attract romantic love by just enjoying this moment. We can't worry about the past. We can't even focus too much on the future. We have to deal with like right now, like the present. I am here with you now. That's all that matters to me. I love you. I love your energy. I love your smile. You know, find the little things to make your heart beat again. You know, I love being around you. I love that we laugh together, that we go dancing together. I love that we sing together. Like, begin to just be grateful for all of the little things that you and your spouse can achieve together, right? Or even if you are single, this is about looking at all the beauty of love and not focusing so much on your heartbreak. Like, if you meet someone new, do you know how offensive it is to be talking about your ex all the time and what they did to you and how much they hurt you when you're trying to date someone new? They don't want to hear about them. And I'm giving it to you raw, Virgo. They don't give a damn. They want to know you. What make your heart beat? What make you smile? They don't want to hear about everybody else, okay? So keep that to yourself. <laughs> Trust your intuitive senses with respect to other people's trustworthiness. And open your heart, my love, to those who are kind and gentle. Ask the angels to bring caring individuals into your life, including a romantic partner into your life. And they will do it. I know, I know, trust me. I know, my love, I know, I understand, okay? But this is your soulmate. For those of you that have just, it's like no matter how many times I tell you, you still have doubt. And there's a reason for that. And I always try to tell, you know, when I see that person struggling with a particular situation or they're constantly upset about something or hurting over something, I always try to tell them to get in touch with their root chakra, okay? Your root chakra is the foundation, the cause for all of these different emotions. Go back to the roots of the problem. Go back to what started all of this in the first place. What made you feel this way? Why do you feel this way? Get down to the bottom of it and start over. Now that you vented and you got it all out and now that you have clarity about where it all stemmed from and why you've been feeling the way you've been feeling, that is when you will win, my love. You get that man of your life. You get that twin flame, okay? You attract more love into your world. You will begin to attract more because you are doing more, okay? So abundance will be your friend, your very best friend. But you have to heal and not be afraid to heal. You have to let those things go and not be afraid of opportunity. You cannot be afraid of diversity and of change and of new things. Because it is safe. It is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to have whatever you deserve. But you have to learn to stop and smell the roses, my love. For those of you that are single and you're dating and you're wondering, this is your soulmate. This is someone who deeply care for you. But you know what? They don't want to hear about your ex. They don't care. They don't give a damn. Stop talking about it. <laughs> You know, it's one thing to share some things from your past, but you don't want to run people away constantly talking about somebody else, like, or, you know, in a situation that happened five years ago. Like, you know, <laughs> when somebody just want to love you, they don't want to hear all that. They just want to be in love. So allow this person to love you. Allow them to embrace you, okay? Do not be afraid of this change. 
For some of you, you may have to move on. You may have to find somebody else in order for you to have this love. But you have to listen to and follow and follow your guidance and your archangel's guidance, my love. Listen to your spirit, okay? So I have some cards here that I wanted to do like your overall guidance for or some type of clarity, whatever you guys were concerned about or maybe you whatever you have had on your mind, any type of questions. You know, please think about it. You know, even if this is like replay for you, please think about it. Please meditate upon a question and just trust the guidance that you hear today, okay? Trust and hear the guidance that is being provided to you, whatever is being shown to you, whether it is in a dream, whether it's during this reading, if you're replaying this video, if you, this is your first time on my channel. You know, try to just think about what is it that you are feeling. Think about it. The universe loves you. The universe wants what's best for you. The universe believes in you. But do you want the best for you? Do you believe in you? Do you care about you enough to wither away the energy that no longer serves you? Do you care about yourself enough to block out that energy that is keeping you bondage to unhappiness? It is time for you to break free. I want you all to imagine what it feels like to just be free. That is what I want you guys to feel and to think about at this moment. What does it feel like to just be free? Okay? Thank you, universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So in the near future, my love, whatever your question was, in the near future, it will happen. And this could be four weeks from now, six months from now. This may even be a year or maybe three years from now. <laughs> Just have faith that no matter how long it takes, no matter what it takes, have faith that it is happening in your favor, that the universe or God or spirit, my love, loves you completely and will not and cannot mislead you or leave you out. You will have whatever you ask for, but it starts with faith, my love. Get ready because your life is about to change, all right? I love you, Virgo. Oh, my God, you're reading on so, so, like, deep and spiritual every single time. Guys, I just wanted to present this to you. Speaking of chakras, okay, <laughs> I have it on this thing because I just made this, actually. So, that's why I'm still looking like this. So, I make chakra bracelets, my love, for those of you who don't know or who may be new to my page, okay? Chakra bracelets are a beautiful and very easy way to help balance your energy okay the chakra bracelet is not the power of the bracelet it's all about how it absorbs negative energy so that way only positive energy is left for you to feel so you don't even have to worry about negative energy coming to you or overwhelming you just because that negative energy is being absorbed so you don't even have to feel it okay this can be found on my website. I have different kinds. I have the throat chakra one. This is one of, has become one of my favorites. I love it because I'm still learning how to monitor my thoughts and the things that I think and say. <laughs> so I love the throat chakra bracelet. It's very beautiful. And I love my solid black. It's very beautiful as well. So if you guys would like one of these, they're very cheap too. They're only like $10. So just go on my website g1insights.org here is the seven chakras on one bracelet you can get one of these two all right so i love you guys thank you so much for your beautiful energy thank you for your time and i'm so sorry that this video took a while i wasn't expecting it to take this long so i do love you have a great week or great harvest season it's time it's time for some change yes 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 all right virgo i love you bye